Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown. I'm Michael, your host. We'll leave it at that. It is Friday afternoon, guys. The last day of school for a week. We're out for spring break. I'm happy. I might not show it, but I'm happy. So, if you have followed along with my videos, you know for six weeks prior to this week, I did a special kind of project with my workout uh, where I did one movement per body part, the same movement for six weeks. And uh, now this week I'm back on to my normal workout schedule where I'm just doing a vast array of different movements as normal. So today is going to be uh, kind of centered around my high and low uh, cable machine. And uh, number one, because I haven't done it in a very long time. Number two, because I got a new attachment that I want to use for my low row. Let me get that attachment, guys. I got my double D handle, double D's. Anyway, I want to use this and uh, I'm going to be using that on my low cable row to do low cable rows. <laughs> so uh, we're going to start out though with doing some uh, press, uh, some uh, pull downs. So oh. anyway, let's get to work on doing some of these pull downs. So right now I've only got uh, 70 pounds on the machine, <clears throat> 35 on each side. Oh, get a good stretch in those lats, uh, get a good stretch in your shoulders, get your body ready to put it through its paces, guys. Especially if you haven't done these in a long time. All right, let's go ahead and push out some. That's what she said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, that was a good feel. I like doing those, that's a good movement. Uh, one thing you wanna do is make sure whenever you're doing your workout, when you're doing a movement, regardless of what it is, you wanna make sure that you're actually feeling the movement and not just going through the motions of moving the weight because you're not gonna build the body by just throwing the weights around. You wanna have some control and focus on what muscle you're actually working. Now, when anytime you're doing a pulling motion like this, you are going to use your arms. It, there's no way around it. Uh, a lot of people like to say, no, you're pulling from your lats. You're pulling from, I don't know if you're pulling from your lats. Uh, your arms do the vast majority of everything that you're going to do in the gym. It's up to you to recruit those other muscles into the movement, but your arms are gonna take a lot of the brute force of most of your movements. So with this here, uh, whenever you come down and you get that and you get to this point, you wanna get and hit and pull down and really squeeze that back in as best you can. Try and push those shoulder blades together whenever you come in and then whenever you come out, try and stretch out a good bit. It helps to stretch out all these fibers in your lats and uh, it also helps to stretch out your shoulders and everything. And uh, it, it helps to keep the blood flowing and the muscles loosened up and open up all the fibers. And it helps everything to kind of work together and grow together. So whenever you're working out, make sure you know what you're doing and you're not just throwing the weights around, okay? So I'm gonna do another set and warm up and uh, we'll catch up with you on another set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, I went ahead and uh, went up 10 pounds, so we're gonna top out at 200 pounds. I am gonna use straps for this, and I wanna make sure that I get the most out of the muscle that I wanna use, which is my lats, instead of my arms, and so that's a reason to use straps. One, two, three, Now from here, I'm just gonna go down to a little bit lighter weight and, and uh, get more like around 10 reps. So we'll see you on the next exercise, guys. Oh. <clears throat> All right, guys, we are using the low cable row. We're gonna do some low rows. And I am using my new attachment. Not that you can see it right here, but the double D attachment. And uh, as you can see, I'm also utilizing my bench uh, instead of sitting on the floor, I turn my bench around and I decline the, the seat as far as it will go. That way the cable doesn't rub on the bench and it allows me to stay off the floor and uh, put my feet against the uh, feet stays on the machine. So, all right, let's see how we like this double D guys. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good, very good. That's uh it's a lot different feeling than using a wide bar or even a narrow bar such as this. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting uh, movement. I like that. So uh, right now I have 140 on the machine and uh, I might keep it at 140 or I might make my way up to 200. We'll see. So uh, hang in there guys. Hope you're enjoying the video. All right, guys, we'll do a set of 170. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna finish up the heavy, the heavy part with 200 pounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. All right, guys, my back day is over. I hope you enjoyed the video and just kind of seeing what I'm doing. Uh, I stuck with cables only today, which is kind of unusual. But again, I did just do six weeks of a bent barbell row, even though it was Smith machine. And yeah, I could have done some one arm dumbbell rows and a couple other little things, but I just wanted to go ahead and I just wanted to stick with the cables today. Uh, so, uh, just a little word of caution. For those of you that have a really bad back, lower back, like myself, uh, those low cable rows are iffy. Sometimes they're known to tweak your back a little bit and it could tweak it just a little or it could throw it completely out. I have some bad uh, vertebrae in, in my lower back that like to kind of shift around and not be so, uh, in line with the others sometimes. 
So uh, I did notice that whenever I went up to the 200 pound row that uh, I was kind of upset in my back. So uh, the la the, my last three sets, I dropped it down to 140 and just uh, kind of got those done. And uh, I'll see how it goes from there. Uh, throwing my back out's nothing unusual. Uh, I don't usually throw it out though whenever I'm working out, but again, low pulley rows, it's that one movement that's kind of iffy. I mean, uh, they are more dangerous for my back than a deadlift. So that's weird. But it's a movement that I love so much that I can't really let it go. So it's just kind of a something I gotta work around. If I feel like my back is still a little bit too tweaked, then Monday I'll run to my chiropractor and uh, get a little clickety click and I should be okay. So. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna finish up my water, go get my supper going. I'm gonna have a sweet potato plain, nothing on it, and probably two tuna wraps with baby spinach, mustard, a little hot sauce, a little salsa, a little extremely low calorie uh, vinaigrette dressing, maybe onion or tomato or something, I don't know, it just depends, a little cheese. And uh, that's going to be my supper for tonight, guys. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff too. The Body Beat Down, I'm Michael, your amazing dadgum host. All right? Now, you get your workout on and never stop. Ever. Inspire someone along the way today, tomorrow, and next week, including yourself. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. We'll see you later. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!